Governor Godwin Obaseki of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as one in the polling units of former National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Chief John Odige Oyegun. Obaseki polled 109 votes to defeat Osage Eze Yamu of the APC, who garnered 40 votes. Oyegun had refused to endorse Eze Yamu in the build-up to the election, asking the people to vote their, uh, their choice. And as we can see now, Obaseki PDP got 109 votes to defeat Eze Yamu, who has 40 votes. Okay, Obaseki has won in his polling units. He has again won in the polling units of a former APC chairman. I think uh, we are going to be getting um, more good news from Obaseki. But we've not heard anything from Eze Yamu's poll units. Definitely he's going to win his own poll units, but... Let's keep our finger crossed. But I think uh, is Obaseki is coasting to victory. Obaseki must win by God's grace to put an end to Godfatherism in a do state. And some of the results we've been hearing, we've been seeing flying here and there. Of course, we are not going to be relying on them too much until when I need we bring uh, the total number of votes. Then we will not know what will actually happen. Oyegun worked for PDP in the elections. If Oyegun was removed as APC national chairman, President Buhari would have lost the elections. Okay, yes, PDP must win to so embarrass Tinumbu. Like, seriously? Well, yes, so APC government is, is unfair. Wow, 109 to so 40 votes. That is massive. It's going to be difficult for APC to catch up with PDP. Up PDP, up PDP, up PDP. I'm sure... PDP supporters are very, very happy with this uh, news. But by the time we start hearing from the other side, I hope uh, it's not going to be a different board game entirely. All PDP, all PDP, and that is it. And somebody says it's a fake news. Uh, fake news, of course. Uh, when it's not going their direction, it's always a uh, fake news. Oh, you're going to say PDP, man. Final result is the most important. Exactly. Final result is the most important as we speak. Uh, who not like better thing? Oyegu has never won his, in his polling units. Winning all the way. Up, up, Fidi Fee. Okay. He's always loser from the from the time he was APC chairman. From beginning, Oyegu is a betrayer to APC. Like seriously, but after Buari won in 2015, you know, this man was praised to high heavens because they say he was the chairman that led them to the victory in 2015. But at times when people are doing, when things are not going the way of some people, they begin to find fault. But when it's going their way, of course, they will praise you to high heavens. That is what has happened. And at the end of the day, Oshomole that came after the man, he was sacked. He didn't even finish his tenure. So what are we talking about? Well, that's the great news. Uh, that is not the issue because Oyegun has always lost his polling unit to PDP. Even if he was a, a, a APC national chairman, he lost to PDP. Well, uh... Uh, from all indications, we all know that Oyegun is on the side of Obaseki. And that was why he was so indifferent. He was sitting on the fence. And he told the people to choose uh, their leader, whatever that comes from their hearts, is not going to impose anybody on anybody. And that was exactly what he said. And when Sinumbu was making a live broadcast, he just said, no, that was the wrong thing, that Sinumbu should not just interfere in a do matter. And that was when this uh, slogan came from the... From the governor Obaseki that says, I don't know, be Lagos, I don't know, be Lagos. But we hope that at the end of the day, anybody that wins is even the most important thing. The most important thing is for them to be able to, to do the bidding of the people. But whether the bidding of the people is going to happen is a different ball game entirely. But everybody is just happy, oh, because my person is there. And some people don't even care. In as much the person they love is there. They don't care whether the person is doing the right thing or not. And that's why we are having problems in this country. We just support for supporting sake. Well, as we stand, as we speak, the most important thing, anybody who wins, the, anybody who loses, should just take it. After all, they've already signed this uh, peace, uh, peace agreement, if that is going to ban. But by and large, I don't think there has been any uh, casualty, all of that, because we know that there are pockets of uh, ballot sludge uh, snatching here and there. Uh, there are a lot of inches here and there, but by and large, everything has been going on smoothly. I think this is a, another boost for for Baseki in the polling units of Oyegun. Uh, and it's a normal thing, just like they said, that 
Oyegun has never won his polling units before, but from all indications, you know that Oyegun is really on the side of a Obaseki. Uh, the results will still be flying in. Let's keep our finger crossed. Uh, the winner will be announced. We hope uh, it's not going to be inconclusive because the other time INEC was saying uh, there were reports of a gunshot in in was this I've, I've tried i'm trying to remember orio one yes orio one local government area and i think in that is that if care is not taken most of the votes coming from that area might be cancelled they might cancel it but let us see how it goes but we all we are looking for all we are hoping is that there shouldn't be any inconclusiveness because that is most of the time if they really want to rig election they will tell you oh inconclusiveness this and this and that this and this and this but i I'm, I'm sure that the Edo people are really guiding their vote very seriously and it will be very very difficult because right from time Edo state has been APC APC um, states it has been PDP sorry it has been PDP state but all of a sudden the tide just changed and you could see since APC came on board in Edo state but every subsequent election most especially the presidential election that we had PDP still won despite the federal might they still won despite that Oshimole was the APC chairman then Obaseki was in the was in APC and he was the governor. They had the governor, the APC, uh, the governor of the state is APC, the chairman of the party is APC. Yet article the PDP still won. So it baffles everyone, and that's why everybody just believes that PDP might still win, irrespective of the, the candidate. But well, the end shall justify the means, and that is all that is important. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below in the comment section and let us have your take on this uh, particular uh, news that Obaseki won in Oyegu's polling units. But some people are saying, no, it's not, really, it's not a big deal because right from time, Oyegu never won in his own polling units. So, guys, leave your comments respectfully and let's have your take. Thank you.